Welcome to Ask the Archive. I'm Tom Kellum, an archivist at the Fort Worth Library. Hundreds of people visit the library every week doing research for a book or a genealogy, and sometimes they just have curiosity seekers. Here's a question we had this week from Terry Reeves. Why did Fort Worth become one of the largest dockyards in the United States? They don't call us Cowtown for nothing, Kerry. It all started over a hundred years ago, but here to tell us about it is Janelle Pate, Fort Worth historian and author. Hello, Tom. I'll be happy to tell you about the Fort Worth Stockyards. Fort Worth was a great place for our stockyards because fortunately we were on the Chisholm Trail where all the uh, cattle were coming up from South Texas and the local founding fathers wanted to take advantage of that so they worked very hard to get a railroad and did in 1876 and then you had cattle pens in the downtown area where they would arrive but they wanted a bigger area for them and so in 1887 with their own money, the local fathers incorporated the Fort Worth Union stockyards uh, in the north side, north of the Trinity River, and then uh, built it. It opened in 1889, and that was the origin of the Fort Worth stockyards. It has later sold a couple of times, only changed names once. In 1893, it became the Fort Worth Stockyards and has remained that. What made the Fort Worth Stockyards one of the biggest stockyards in the country was after all we are Texas and most of those longhorn cattle in the beginning were coming up from South Texas to the northern markets. And the fact also that we uh, had a railroad then finally coming into Fort Worth. Fort Worth became the market for all of West Texas and so all the ranches in West Texas would ship their cattle to the Fort Worth stockyards. We became the largest stockyard uh, south of Kansas City. We became the largest stockyard in the entire southwest for all of our history. And actually we ranked uh, anywhere from third to fourth nationwide among the two dozen really large stockyards. The meatpacking industry nationwide at the end of the 19th century was one of the biggest industries in the country. All those Texas cattle going northward, people raising cattle. The way we brought that to Fort Worth was the owners of the stockyards uh, approached two of the largest meatpacking giants in the nation. There were four or five large companies, but Armour and Swift were two of the biggest for each meat packer and offered to give them free land on which to build their plants if they would come to Fort Worth and build, and so they did. And when they arrived in 1902, they could buy all of the animals that came to the market and pay immediately, uh, and the market had no way to go but up. And so things started booming. By World War I, uh, we set a record of three million animals coming through the, the stockyards, three and a half million animals. And of course, it was slow during the Depression, but they didn't lay anybody off. And by uh, World War II, uh, they set another record uh, that was never broken. Five and a quarter million animals came through the stockyards in 1944. So things boomed, but following uh, World War II, uh, the nation's tastes changed. They didn't like the, the grass-fed beef that just ranged on the ranches. They wanted corn-fed beef. And so the meat packers had older plants uh, in the inner cities throughout the country. And so they built modern uh, meat processing plants, one story that would have a conveyor belt, built them near the uh, uh, feed lots that were developing and developed very rapidly in the 50s and 60s. And so the stockyards throughout the country uh, started slowing down, losing receipts. Armour uh, closed their doors in 1962. Swift closed theirs in 1971, and the stockyards here held on another 20 years by just special sales and, and auctions and a lot of promotion, but, uh, but closed in 1992. So things seemed very bad for uh, Fort Worth and the stockyards, and there were a lot of sad people and empty buildings in the north side. The citizens of Fort Worth uh, loved being Cowtown, and they didn't wait until things had totally closed uh, to start thinking about doing something about it. In the mid-1970s, when the North Fort Worth Historical Society was started, people were talking about we need to save things. Uh, 
a few buildings were being torn down around the perimeter and, and they didn't want this to happen to the major buildings. City Fathers downtown uh, also wanted to save the stockyards and, and applied for federal grants to help with some of the infrastructure. So through the efforts of these people and in addition some private businessmen who raised money and were willing to risk that to start businesses or keep businesses going. People like Steve Muren, Joe Dooley, Hope Hickman uh, bought buildings and, and kept businesses open. And so tourists started trinkling in. That, that trinkle has become a, a very large stream. Uh, you can come out to the stockyards here in the early 21st century and ask where people are from and they're from various states in the Union, always from foreign countries. This Convention and Visitors Bureau uh, say that we have over a million visitors to Fort Worth every year and at least half of those come to the Fort Worth Stockyards. So we've had two successes with the Fort Worth Stockyards. The first success was with all those animals and being a, one of the major markets of the country for uh, a century uh, and now we, we have our second success with tourists uh, always coming to the stockyards wandering around. One of the things tourists love most about the Fort Worth stockyards uh, is the Longhorn herd that goes down uh, Exchange Avenue twice a day 11:30 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. Tourists will start gathering on the curves you know, 30 minutes before the herd is supposed to appear and they love to see the wranglers on their horses uh, come by and drive them down the street. It gives the real feel of the Old West and the fact we really were a stockyards that uh, welcomed the Longhorn cattle uh, and tourists really enjoy it. Thank you, Tom. I really enjoyed talking about Fort Worth Stockyards. Thanks, Janelle. If you have any questions about Fort Worth or Ask the Archives, send it to Ask the Archives at 500 West 3rd Street, Fort Worth, Texas, 76102. That's all for now. I'm Tom Kellum for Ask the Archives.